Welcome to the Mind Mapping Tutorial. Mind Mapping is a type of graphic organizer. A graphic organizer is a visual display that demonstrates relationship between facts, concepts, or ideas. After this tutorial, you'll be able to identify the different graphic organizers, summarize the importance of a mind mapping, give an example of a free online mind mapping software. This is an example of a graphic organizer. Without much explanation, the viewer quickly grasps what the main topic is, in this case, Charlotte's Web. Without reading the book, the graphic organizer lets the viewer know the characteristics of Weber, Charlotte, and Templeton. Other graphic organizers are concept maps, mind maps, outlining, and webbing. Today we are going to focus on mind maps and mind mapping. A mind map is basically a diagram that connects information around a central subject. Here are examples of mind maps. All mind maps begin with the main concept or idea that the rest of the map revolves around. So choosing that idea or topic is the first step. From that main idea, create branches, as many as needed, that each represent a single word that relates to the main topic. It's helpful to use different colors and images to differentiate the branches and subtopics. Then create sub-branches that stem from the main branches to further expand on ideas and concepts. These sub-branches will also contain words that elaborate on the topic of the branch it stems from. This helps develop and elaborate on the overall theme of mind map, including images and sketches that can also be helpful in brainstorming and creating the sub-branch topics. Mind maps can be used for pretty much any thinking or learning task, from studying a subject such as a new language, to planning your career, or even building better habits. Many people use mind maps to organize thoughts, solve problems, brainstorm new ideas, give compelling presentations. Mind maps work because memory is naturally associative, not linear. Mind maps allow associations and links to be recorded and reinforced. The mind remembers keywords and images, not sentences. You can create a mind maps on paper using colorful pens and pencils too, or using a draw app on your iPad or tablet. There are also many popular free mind mapping software tools available. The following are some of my favorites. They are cloud based. There is no need to install any software or worried about upgrades. Bubble.us. You can begin mind mapping on Bubble.us right away without creating a free account. However, in order to save or share your brainstorming, you need an account. Google.it Google is a Google product. You can explore your projects in PDF or PNG format, create private links or share publicly on social medias, and add clickable links. Google supports Markdown and also works on mobile device. Spiderscribe.net for spiderscribe.net, users can add images, maps, calendars, text notes, and upload text files to their mind maps. Users can connect the elements on their mind maps or let them each stand on their own. You can embed your interactive Spiderscribe mind map into your blog or websites. Let us review. Mind mapping is a typographic organizer. A graphic organizer is a visual and graphic display that demonstrates the relationship between facts, terms, and ideas. Mind mapping is good for brainstorming individually and as a group, summarizing information and note-taking, consolidating information from different research sources, thinking through complex problems, presenting information in a format that shows the overall structure of your subject, studying and memorizing information. Thank you for taking this tutorial.